What's up everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in and in today's video, I'm gonna be wholesaling real estate live in front of you. I'm gonna be picking up the phone, calling motivated sellers, trying to lock up a wholesale deal live in this video. So that way you can see exactly how it's done. That being said, this video is gonna be value packed from the beginning all the way to the end. So make sure you stick around and watch the whole video. And guys, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you go down below, hit the red button and subscribe. It helps me grow the channel and reach more people. And my mission and my goal with this channel is to help as many people as possible get into real estate and have success in real estate and if you subscribe to the channel it helps me accomplish that mission so I'd really appreciate it if you do so um, but with that being said let me go ahead and show you exactly what I use when I wholesale real estate and then I'll start picking up the phone and making calls before I get started wholesaling real estate live in front of you I want to show you exactly what tools and resources I use when I'm wholesaling so first off, when I'm sending an offer, I wanna make sure that you guys are using the same contracts that I use when I send an offer. So if you go to jacobblank.com slash free, there will be a link down below in the description for this. You'll be able to download my purchase contract, my assignment contract, and my cold calling script for completely free. So first off, make sure you go get that. The next thing and the main thing that I'm gonna be using in this video is my CRM. It is my client relationship management system. So every single motivated seller that I'm working with is housed in this system. And this system handles your full wholesaling business. And it does so many amazing things. Let me go ahead and actually jump into the CRM and show you some of it. So there's all these different apps that handle each different part of your business, like your seller leads, your transactions, your dispo offers, your cash buyers, title companies, team members, key performance metrics, and so much more. But the main app that I'm gonna be using in this video is the Seller Leads app. And by the way, guys, if you want a full demo of this system, all you have to do is go to wholescalecrm.com and you'll be able to get a full demo of this system for free. There's a link down below in the description for that. I'm gonna just be going over the Seller Leads app for you guys to see. So when I'm calling motivated sellers, I'm gonna be working right here in the Seller Leads app in the CRM. And basically, when you go out there and conduct marketing to find motivated sellers, once you find a motivated seller, they flow directly into the system and a seller lead profile is created for each and every motivated seller that you're working with. All their contact information, their name, address, their phone number, email, is all gonna be stored here. The team member in your company that's working the lead is gonna be assigned to it. All the Zillow information is gonna automatically feed through from Zillow. It's gonna keep track of what marketing channel did this lead come from. Was it telemarketing? Was it a website lead? Was it SMS? Was it direct mail? It's also going to keep track of how many times you've tried to contact the seller. And each time you try to contact the seller and you weren't able to reach them, at the click of a button, it's automatically gonna send them a text and an email letting them know you tried to reach them. Next, it's gonna keep track of how many written and verbal offers you've made per week and per month. So that way you know how many offers you're making. It's also gonna categorize and put each seller into the bucket that they belong in. Is it a new lead? Is it interested? Is it not interested? Is it dead? So that way all your leads get organized by what status they're in. It's also gonna categorize them again by their temperature. Are they hot, warm, cold, or dead? It's also gonna organize your whole database and each seller is gonna go into the proper bucket for their motivation, which is so important. Are they a tired landlord? Was it death, divorce, probate? What is the reason that they're looking to sell the property? It's gonna organize your leads like that. And then guess what? It's gonna automatically follow up with your sellers for you. Yeah, this system is gonna send texts and emails on an ideal sequence, following up with your sellers for you. And then guys, when you're ready to send the seller an offer, no longer do you have to fill out the contract word by word. All you have to do is input a few pieces of information, click one button, and it is gonna send the offer to the seller for them to sign so that way you can send more offers out, send more contracts out and lock up more deals. And as you're working with the seller on the right hand side, you're able to take all your comments and notes. So when I'm asking the seller about the condition of their property, I'm taking all my notes there on the right hand side. So that is just the seller leads app that handles your acquisition side of your business. Again, there is all these other apps that handle every other part of your business in this whole scale CRM. So I highly recommend that you go get a full demo of it at wholescalecrm.com. Again, there will be a link down below in the description for that. So when I'm calling sellers and talking to them, I'm primarily gonna be working in that. And then once I need to look up their property to figure out what their property is worth and to find all the information about it, I'm gonna be using PropStream. PropStream is an all-in-one wholesaling tool. It lets you search up any property across the country and it's gonna give you every piece of information about that property at your fingertips. 
So that way you can sound like an expert when you're talking to the seller. You're going to be able to see the bed bath count, square footage, county information, tax information, uh, who owns it, all the information you could possibly need about the property so that way you can sound like an expert when talking to them. Also, it's going to let you pull the comparable sale data in the area. So you're going to be able to see what properties that are similar to the one you're looking at are selling for and then from there be able to calculate your offer. Which guys, you need to be able to see what other properties are selling for in order to get an accurate value of what the property is worth and then from there calculate your offer. PropStream also lets you pull motivated seller lists, conduct marketing, and do so much more. Guys, there's a link down below in the description for a seven day free trial of PropStream. Now once I figure out what the property is worth based on running comps on PropStream, I then need to calculate my offer. And for that, I use my offer calculator. My offer calculator is available for purchase at jacobblank.com shop. There's a link down, down below in the description for that. This is what it looks like. Basically, when you find your comps on PropStream, you're going to go ahead and plug those comps in on the calculator. You're going to put in how much money you want to make. You're going to choose how much repairs does the property need, minor, average, major, or a full remodel. You're going to choose what market you're in, and then boom, it's going to run all the math for you and calculate everything for you and spit out your MAO, your maximum allowed offer to make the seller. And it's also going to give you an offer range to make the seller. So guys, if you're struggling to calculate what, what to offer the seller, if you're struggling to figure out what to offer the seller where you're going to be able to make money on the deal, I highly recommend that you go get this offer calculator from jacobblank.com shop. So those are the main things that I'm going to be using when it comes to talking with motivated sellers and trying to lock up deals. And then the final thing that I want to mention is, guys, in these videos, sometimes I go ahead and I work on selling deals and I work on finding cash buyers for the deals that we have locked up. And the main platform that I use for dispositions, for selling deals and talking to cash buyers and finding cash buyers is InvestorLift. InvestorLift is a platform that gives you access to over 2 million active cash buyers across the country. So when it comes to selling deals and talking to cash buyers, this is the main platform that I am using. Um, there is a link down below in the description for InvestorLift where you can get a discount as well. And I have a couple other videos on my channel going over the InvestorLift platform in detail. So if you want to check that out, go and do it. But um, that pretty much covers it because in this video and in these calling videos, I call motivated sellers to try to lock up deals and I call cash buyers to sell deals. And these are the different tools, resources, and software that I'm using to do it. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and jump on the phone and start calling. All right, guys, let's start calling. It's late Friday afternoon, so that could be good or bad, whether a bunch of people are gonna answer the phone. But let's start banging out the phone calls and try to get some people on the phone. No answer, we're going to double dial. You always want to double dial because we want to get people on the phone right now today. calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested on our website. Give me a call back when you get a chance. Thanks. I'm going to send them a text and an email and we're going to move on to the next one. All right, on to the next one. This next one's in Pennsylvania. Let's give it a ring. Hello? Hello? 
Hey, I'm calling about that offer for your property there in uh, Levittown that you requested on our website. Yeah. Awesome. How you doing today? Well, I just kicking back eating some uh, strawberry cream cake. There you go. That sounds pretty good. Um, awesome. I just wanted to ask a couple more questions about the property and then make you the offer for it. Is that okay? Okay. Perfect. Um, how old is the roof on it? Eight years old. Okay. The roof's eight years old. What about the air conditioning unit? How old is the heater or, or the AC unit? Seven? Yep. Okay. And then as far as the interior condition, is it in pretty good shape on the inside or could it use some work? That's in great shape. Great shape. Okay. I see, I, I believe it's listed on the MLS. Is that right? It is. Okay. So these photos are accurate. I see you're asking 365 for it. Is that right? Yeah, with a realtor, but if it's a cash offer, that price is negotiable. What's the best price you would do? As oh. is? Yeah, as is. We cover all closing costs. There's no commissions. What's the best you'd consider? Probably around the 330 to 340 range. Okay. Let's see, 3340. Um, let's see. We'd probably need to be closer to 300 flat. We could maybe do, no, that, we, the, probably the most we could do would be probably 310. Yeah, that's nowhere near enough. The property values around here go for 350 to 360. Yeah, there's just some that, like there's this one that's uh, newer a bit uh, by five years and a little bit bigger than yours. And it only sold for 336. That's because the bank wanted out from underneath it. And then there's this other one that sold for 360. So if I paid much more than like 310, 315, I'd probably lose money. Would you consider 315 or no? I sold 317 on the mortgage. 317. Uh, how yeah. much in your pocket do you need minimum after the mortgage is paid off? If I could do, uh, if I could get you 320, is that something you'd consider? I don't even need about three grand in my pocket. No, I need enough so I can pay for moving costs and mortgage on my new place. So for closing costs on my new house. So it'd have to be three thirty. Three thirty is that's that's the lowest you could do. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I don't know that I can do 330. I'm just wondering, is that the rock bottom for you? That would probably be the, the lowest. Okay, let me do this. I'm going to have somebody else in my office take a second look and see if we can come up to the 330. And if we can, I'll get back with you about it, okay? Okay. All right, and if you change your mind, I can be at 315 for sure. I'll, or I'll, I can pay your mortgage. I can do 317, you know, but... I don't know how much more than that. So I'll have somebody else take a second look, all right? Have a good one. You too. All right, let's go on to the next one. This next one is in Arkansas. Your 
call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Eight seven zero three three seven three is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. To leave a callback number, press five. Hey, I was calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested on our website. Give me a call back, thanks. We're gonna double dial. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. No answer. On to the next one. This next one is in uh, Nevada. Hello. Hello, and thank you for calling. We're going to double dial. Hey, I was calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested on our website. Give me a call back when you get a chance. Thanks. On to the next one. This one's in Nevada as well. I'm calling to give you the offer for your property on Hallwood Drive that you requested on our website. How are you doing today? Wonderful. Awesome. I just wanted to call and ask a couple more questions about it and then make you the offer. Is that okay? Perfect. Awesome. So first off, um, I wanted to ask you, how old is the roof on it? I believe 2008. And then I think we actually spoke to you before. Uh, the air conditioning is the same age as the roof, right? Correct. And you have Corian countertops? Correct. Two-year-old hot water heater? Correct. Okay, and then I have in here that you want over 400000 for it, is that right? Correct. Okay, let me see what we'd be able to do. Um, let me pull it up real quick. And uh, you wouldn't consider anything under four hundred. No. No? Okay. Yeah, because looking at it, I don't think we could pay you more than 380 for it, unfortunately. Okay, have a wonderful day. You too. Have a good one. Once too much. On to the next one. This next one's in Arizona. Kingman, Arizona. <laughs> Yo, I'm filming a calling video, bro. Peace. Hello. 
we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Hey, I was calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested on our website. Give me a call back. Thanks. Now the line's busy. On to the next one. This next one's in Oklahoma. Number didn't even go through. to an automatic voice message system. 405512 is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, I was calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested on our website. Give me a call back. Thanks. to an automatic voice message system. Four, zero, five, five. All right, on to the next one. Alright, this one I sent an offer on and she was going to think about it. Let's give her a ring. Hello? Hey, Terry, it's Jacob calling. How are you doing today? I'm doing alright. How are you? Awesome. I just wanted to follow up with you on that offer we were talking about on Odie Street. How are you doing? Good. So, yeah, I came up to that 63500 and I know you wanted to give it some thought, um, so I just wanted to follow up. I just, give me a couple more days, and I just, I don't think it's going to be enough. Okay, but if I was able to get to the 64 flat, it would be? I need... 64.5. I've got to have it. I went over everything and I now have a thousand dollars in attorney fees I have to pay. Okay, so if I was able to get the 64.5 approved by the finance department, would you be ready to move forward on that today by chance? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Okay. Yeah. Let me take a look here. Um, let me see. Oh, my computer is lagging. Are you still there? Hello? My computer just geeked out. We're gonna call her back. Don't worry, we're gonna call her back. Hello? Are you still there? Hello? Hey, sorry, my computer, my computer freaked out. 
Um, okay, I'm just making sure you're still there. Yep, we're back. Okay, so let's see. The 64.5. Um, can I put you on a brief hold and step into the finance department and see what they say? It'll just take like 30 seconds. Sure. Okay, I'll be right back with you, all right? One second. All right. All right, she's listening to classical rock. Let's run some comps on this. It's kind of rural. It's kind of close to Fort Worth, but not really. I don't know, I mean, only a thousand difference. Uh, let's see, there's some going for 85. I think it's a deal, so I'm going to tell her it's approved. And resender the contract. Hey, are you there? Yeah. Good news. They said they'll do it, but we couldn't do a penny higher. But we could do the 64.5. Still, we'll still cover all the closing costs and buy it in as is condition. And we can still okay. give you the 14 days after. Would you still want to close at the end of the month? Um, I have to look at the calendar. I, you know, and this is going to sound really stupid to you, but I have a flea market that I have to do uh, Memorial Weekend. Why would that sound so, stupid to me? There's nothing stupid about well, that. Because it's like, you're going to do a flea market instead of move? <laughs> yeah, I get that, but, I guess. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, I got to make some money. Hopefully. Okay, so when is that? It is just such it. When? Hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> At 6.30, the May 31st, and then June 1st is second. Okay, so what day would, would work for... for where, where you want to get paid and then have 14 days after because I want to make sure I put a date on here that would work you know right um, so that way you could sign it tomorrow after you sleep on it maybe June 5th or June 10th yeah, it, what day, June, June 5th June 5th is a Wednesday or we could do June 10th a Monday which is 30 days from today and then you'll have 14 days after that. Oh. Um, but see, no, no. We've got to close before... Your mortgage payment. The 15th. Yeah. Before... I don't want to have to pay another mortgage Before what, what day? I don't want to have to pay another... I think it... I always thought it was the 18th. Right. So, so, so that works, right? The Oh, you're saying you want to close this month then, huh? Like ASAP? Yeah. We can't, that's, we can't close in eight. You want us to close in eight days from now? I mean, we could try, but you're going to be... If I, if I don't, i got to pay them another $600. Well, I mean, there's just no time. I mean, title and everything to get a real estate transaction closed takes almost more time than, yeah, than eight days. I think I think they already have the title and all that. The attorneys already Which got attorney? That. Which attorney? I mean an updated search still has to be ordered and that takes four or five days. Then they have to prepare the closing documents. It's kinda impossible to get it done that fast. It is Friday. Um I can't find out until Monday when my my 
the date of my payment. Well, this payment <laughs> sounds, <laughs> this payment, Terry, sounds like it's unavoidable. You know? All right. I got, I have to put numbers together then. Okay. Because it might not be enough then. I, I mean, I just... I gotta have money to get out of here, you know. Yeah. So, I getcha. Um, let me let me crunch the numbers tonight and see what it is. It just it, it they just piss me off, you know. So. All right. Well, I'm gonna send this over to your email with June 10th as the date on it, and then if you want to sign okay. it tomorrow, then we can get get that rolling, okay? Okay. All right. It's going to be an email from Right Signature, okay? It's from where? It'll say Right Signature National Home Buyers. Okay. And it's a simple two-page uh, as two-page as is agreement. I think I went over it with you before. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right, let me know if you need anything and uh we'll go from there. Um well, do you have my cell phone number so that just in case you can call me tomorrow if you if you need yeah. some? You have it? I, yeah. All right. All right. Well, you have a good rest of your evening, okay? You too. Thanks. Yeah, of course. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Keep on calling. Hello? your message for seven Hey, I'm calling about the offer you requested for your property on our website. Yeah, yeah. I'm calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested on our website. Or, oh, Andrew, we spoke a few times and I offered you 265 for your property on Maple Knoll Drive. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to follow up with you on that. Uh, have you given it any more thought if you're ready to move forward on that? Um, I'm talking to some uh, another company right now, trying to work that out. Um, but uh, who are you with? Yeah, my name's Jacob. Remember, we spoke a few different times. Uh, we're I Buy America. Okay, okay. Yeah, I get that. Um, and I was at. I'm the... actually working in the process now with another company, QC Homes or something uh, like that. Did so. you sign an agreement with them yet? I have. Uh, uh, they gave me a thousand dollar commitment, but I'm waiting on the inspections and stuff. Oh, okay. Wh what price did they give you? The same. Oh, okay. Shoot. All right. Well, if that doesn't work out, give me a call and uh, I'll buy it from you. Okay. All right, man. That sounds good. All right. Thanks. Have a good one. Uh, yeah. Thank you, man. Damn. Missed out on that one. It wasn't that good of a deal, though. So. Let's keep on calling. 
Um, actually, I was waiting to see if a buyer signed a assignment contract and he didn't. So let me go ahead and call this buyer. Answer. Okay, guys, let's keep calling sellers. Hello. Hello. Hey, yeah, you're interested in buying our deal on Oxford Street? Right? Uh, yeah. And you need, yeah. Yeah, you need to walk it. Um, and you, you ran numbers on it and you think you'd be around what we're asking for it, right? Yeah, yeah but it's, if it's in the state that I'm imagining it to be, yeah. Okay. What day and time would you want to walk it? I mean, I texted you yesterday about today, but you didn't get me text back, so I got to figure that out and I got to ask him again. Okay. Yeah. Figure out when and then I'm and call me back. I'm gonna keep texting you. You called me two days later. That's my point. I'm it's sending you my. I'm sending you my cell phone number right now. I just texted you my cell phone number, so that way you can reach me direct. Okay. Okay. All right. So let me know when you right. can, and then we'll get you scheduled to see it. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Sorry about the delay. Bye. <laughs> All right, this one's in Arizona. Leave your message for nine two eight two five five eight six. Sorry, 
Mailbox is full. To send an SMS notification, press 5. No answer. We're going to double dial. Hello? Please leave your message for... No answer on the next one. This one's in Tennessee. I'm calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested on our website. How are you doing today? Well, I'm doing fine. Thanks. Awesome. So it's that property there on Lady Bird Drive, right? Yes, huh? Awesome. I just wanted to ask you a couple more questions about the property and then make you the offer for it. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. Awesome. Um, so, uh, let's see. How old is the roof on it? I don't know, 10, 15 years old. Okay, what about the air conditioning unit? Well, the air conditioning, I've got uh, a window air conditioning, but the, it also has central heat in there. But the uh, unit outside is the uh, low on Freon, and it takes the old type of uh, Freon, and I can't. Okay, I so, can't the, get, so the central I, I AC can't. unit is pretty old, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, as far as the interior condition, is it in pretty good shape on the inside or could it use some updating? Oh, no, it's, uh, it's, it's just like it was when I bought it. It's like it was before the man, the man before me had it and the man before him had it. It's, it's so, in good shape. So it's, I enjoy living here. So it's pretty much the, yeah, same, I, the same as when you bought it, right? Yeah, I've, I've had it about 17 years. Okay. What type of countertops are in the kitchen? Are they laminate or are they granite? Uh, they're just a regular. I don't know okay. what you call it. Oh. Uh, they, they're, pla yeah. they're plastic, though. They're not like rock material, right? Pardon? The countertops in the kitchen, they're like a plastic type of material, not rock? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, and then... Um, Okay, sounds good. And then, what's the reason you were looking to sell this property, James? Well, I'm not looking to sell it. I'm looking. To, I'm listening to offers. For if uh, now all my relatives live out in Middle Tennessee, and this is uh, Central Tennessee. Okay. Did you have and, a? Uh, I, yeah. I would move. I would buy out near where my, uh, my relatives are because I don't have any close by. Gotcha. So that's the only reason I would even think about selling it. That makes that makes sense. I totally understand. Did you have a price in mind of what you'd want for the property? No, I'm just hearing the uh, listening to offers. We would be we would be somewhere right around two hundred thousand, and we'd cover all closing costs, and that would be net to you. No, it'd be more like three hundred thousand. Well, the problem is the ones that are going for closer to three hundred have been fully remodeled with like twenty twenty four remodel on them. Like new well, this is not going. This is this is not going to be remodeled. I mean, not going to have. I'm not going to have leave. Have any new stove, new refrigerator, no remodeling, no paint. It's going to go just like it is. Well, not I, probably not for and three. Houses, I, I listen, uh, houses around here are going from four hundred thousand on up, and you ought to see what they look like. Mm. Uh, so I wouldn't even think about less than three hundred thousand. Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, these ones, be, uh, the one down the street that sold, I mean, it had a good amount of updates done to it, and it sold for two ninety five. but it had new floors, yeah, but, new kitchen, it, new it, bathrooms. It, 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 
It's just like this one. It's, it's just like this one, but it, it has a carport out behind the house, which I got about 15 cars parked there now, like Mexicans do. And I've got a big garage behind the house and the storage building. All right. And the, otherwise, the house is just like the one that sold down there, and it looks just as good. All right. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I could, probably couldn't pay three. I'd be somewhere in the 200s, so... Yeah. No, I couldn't uh, I couldn't even think about that because I, I enjoy living here. I've got walls around me to keep me warm in the winter and cool yep. in the summer. I've got a roof over my head to keep me dry when it rains. No worries. I wouldn't even think of No worries. I'd be reluctant to even, I would even be reluctant if I could go to three, 300,000 because I get emails all the time to tell me what the value of my house is and it runs from three twenty to 385,000. I know what they're selling for around here. There's one a block away, and it's sold for 410. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, and I hope you have a great weekend. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Bye. On to the next one. He wants too much. You got to know who to spend your time on. He wants too much money. call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hey, I was calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested on our website. Give me a call back. Thanks. <laughs> Hello? Hey, I'm calling to give you the offer for your property on North... Adelaide, you requested on our website. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I just wanted to call and ask a couple more questions about the property and then make you the offer. Is that okay? Sure, why not? Yeah. Perfect. How old is the roof on it? Uh, uh, one, okay, one, okay, wait a minute, is it a mobile home? Yeah. No, it's not a mobile home. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, sorry, it pulled up improperly. I got it now. Is it, It's in... Or, let's see. Do I have the address right? 207 North... Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't know why it's okay. not coming up. This is not... 207 North Adelaide Avenue, Breakfast, Arkansas. No, it's not a mobile home. Yeah, I understand. I don't know why it's not coming up. Let's see. Um, 207, right here. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if this works now. How, keep going, though. How old is the roof on it? Um, when I had the extension put on, it might be four years, four or five years old. I don't know. The other side, over the other side, over there, it might be 10, 12. Okay. Um, what about the air conditioning unit? How old is that? Well, don't have a gun. I have a window unit. Okay. And then as far as the interior condition, is it in pretty good shape on the inside, or could it use some work? The inside is on pretty good shape. The inside, yes, it's in pretty good shape. Okay. And the outside. Okay. Did you have a price in mind you were looking to get for it? Well, last year when I uh, spoke with someone, it was like 95 to 100. 95 to 100. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't think we would be that high. We'd probably be closer to 50, 60. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. And there's one active for sale here for forty. Would would you consider anything around there or no? Forty thousand? 
No, no, like 50, 60,000. Somewhere right around there. 50, 60. Well. No, not at this time. All right. Well, uh, if you change your mind, give us a call, okay? I will. All right. Thank you so much. You have a great weekend. You too. Bye. This next one's in Texas. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hey, I was calling to give you the offer for your property. Give me a call back. Thanks. Double dial this one. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. I was calling to give you the offer for your property that you requested on our website. Give me a call back. Thanks. I was calling uh, to give you the offer for your property that you requested on your uh, Jamestown property. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How are you? And who are you? Uh, my name is Jacob with I buy with uh, uh, iBuyAmerica.com. I think that's where you came from. Okay. Or, or you might have came through our website, CashOffer.com. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to call and ask a couple more questions about it, and then make you the offer. Is that okay? Sure. Awesome. First off, how old is the roof on it? Uh, to be honest, I don't know exactly, but less than, I would say, two to three years. Okay. What about the air conditioning unit? Um, that, again, I would have to guess them at probably between six and ten. I can't remember when those were replaced. All right. AC six but to ten, ten, roof two to three. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know for sure, to be honest. Time goes by fast. All right. Um, yeah, it does. It really does, especially lately. Um, okay, that sounds good. As far as the interior condition of the property, is it in pretty good shape on the inside, or could it use some work? Well, I, I, just to be quite honest, the house has not been, you know, really painted since it was new. I mean, we did paint a few rooms here and there. But you know, it, it could be, it could probably be painted. Okay. What about the countertops in the kitchen? Are they laminate or are they granite? No, they're Corian. They're that solid surface. Okay. What color are the With cabinets? The, the, are they a wood color or have they been painted? No, they're a wood color. They're kind of a a honey. Uh, not really a honey. That's the wrong word. They're sort of a. I don't know what color they are. They're not. They're not. It, it's an onion. It's a different color of wood, but it is wood. Okay. Um, let's see. We have a new uh, double oven just put in. What type of flooring do you have throughout the property? Okay, hardwood. All downstairs is hardwood except the office and the bedroom. Upstairs is all carpet. Okay. What's the reason you're looking to sell? Um, we're planning to retire and out of the blue a house came up that we want to buy and unfortunately the seller has a very short requirement for closing so I don't think I could put it on the market and, and meet their date. So you need That's a quick, the only reason. You need a quick sale, gotcha. Um, was there yeah. a price in mind you had that you wanted for it? 
Well, just by looking on the internet, um, you know, this house is seems to be in the price range from you know the upper six hundred. So that's kind of where we're looking. Yeah, we we probably couldn't pay more than like six hundred flat for it. If we were to buy it, there's one here that sold for 650, but it's on a 130,000 square foot lot, and yours is on a 60,000 square foot lot, and it's in really good shape. Yeah, okay. So we'd probably have to be at 60,000, uh, but we'd cover all closing costs, and that would be net to you. I mean, 600,000, but we cover all closing costs. That's net to you, and we buy it in as is condition, and we can close pretty pretty fast. Okay, I mean that I'll consider that offer. I need to talk to my wife and run some numbers, but maybe you can make me a formal offer through email or something and we can go from there. All right, I will do that. And, and is, is that offer, you're just giving me that offer and there's no inspection, there's no nothing? Or... Yep, no inspection. Okay. All right. And, and, and how do I know that you actually have the money? Who are you? Well, Sorry, well, but yeah, we'll send you proof of funds. We'll send you our bank account showing you we have the money, etc. Once we get to that point, but okay. obviously first talk it over with the wife. Make sure it's a number that works, and then we can go from there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that sounds good. So we'll talk Monday and and see what we can put together. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Yep. You have a good weekend. Bye. You too. Bye bye. That's tight at 600. I don't know. On the next one. This next one's in Oregon. Hi, this is Butch. Can't come to the phone. Uh, please leave your name and number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages at this time. Goodbye. Let me double dial that. <laughs> Hi, this is Bush. Can't come to the phone. Uh, please leave your name. On to the next one. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up the video there. I hope you found it helpful for you on your real estate journey watching me wholesale live. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go down below, hit the red button and subscribe. It helps me grow the channel, reach more people, and help more people have success in real estate. So help me do that. Go subscribe. And remember, guys, there's links in the description down below for every single tool, software, and resource that I use in my business. So make sure to check that out. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. And again, guys, I'm just trying to put out as many videos as possible about wholesaling to help you guys have success in this business. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.